Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Ron. Uh, welcome to an episode of I Can Design. Uh, today, I'll be showing you how to make these cheap and affordable window valances. Uh, this pretty much only cost me maybe $7, $8 to make with all the supplies and everything, including the fabric. Uh, pretty much everything you can get at the Dollar Tree, 99 cent store, um, or an art store, but you'll probably end up paying more. First, what you need is some foam board. Uh, black, white, doesn't matter what color it is. Uh, also, box cutter. Uh, these will help in cutting straight lines. Also, you'll need a tape measure. That's a very important, you have a tape measure. And also, a glue gun. Won't be doing any sewing today on this one, just hot glue. Also, you also need uh, these fasteners. We'll be using these to fasten to the wall, which is Velcro. And last but not least, you'll need some heavy fabric, thick fabric such as upholstery or drapery fabric. What I'll be working on today is uh, my studio here in Los Angeles. There's a window here which I'm going to be covering up the existing holes uh, on the on the wall, so this balance will come in handy. First. The uh, thing I did was I'm going to measure how big I want, or how wide I want the balance to be. I wanted 8 inches, so from the board I'm going to measure from the top down 8 inches and then do some dotted lines all the way across the board and then I will cut straight line all the way down. Uh, if you want a longer balance, what you do is you can fold the board over, something just like this. And then you're going to uh, cut another 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 board directly down using the uh, the guide of the edge of the board. Yep, use the edge of the board as a guide. So once you have pre-cut your pieces there, you're going to separate them using the knife. All right, there you have your pieces. Next, I'm gonna measure the inside of the window. Now, my window was 35 inches inside, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add two inches on each side to allow the valance to overextend the window. So here we go, uh, 30 inches, plus I'm gonna do another nine inches, allowing two to four inches more on each side. So that's gonna be a total of 39 inches Once again, I'm going to do the dotted line, measure 9 inches, do dotted lines from the top to the bottom, and then I'm going to cut straight down using, once again, the edge of the board as a guide. Alright, next you're going to measure for depth. Now, uh, the clearance, I have a cabinet there, so the clearance was 2 inches. Uh, anything more than two inches, if I wanted it further out, the cabinet would not open all the way. So two inches was the max. Uh, I decided to do uh, uh, the bracket using the styrofoam board as well. So what you're going to do is, uh, the measurement was two inches, but I'm actually going to do a quarter inch less than the depth. So one inch point seventy five. That's what I'm going to be cutting for my brackets. So once again, measure, do the dotted line from the top to the bottom, and then you're going to cut all the way down using, once again, the edge of the board for a straight guideline. Also, you need four of these, four of these pieces here. So what I'm doing here is I'm folding them over and then recutting them. Uh, now we're going to do corner support brackets. Uh, so these are just going to be triangles. They're going to be right angles. So make sure that you do a correct angle. You can use a left or piece using the corners, four corners, because that's all you need is four of these corner brackets. Now since my brackets were two inches, I'm going to measure two inches on each of the corners and then cut diagonally across. 
Actually, no, actually there's 1.75 or one and a half. Just as long as it's an overextend uh, whatever uh, depth you have measured for or you want it, because then it will not work out. All right, so now you have your four corners. Uh, the, again, these would be the support brackets. Now we're gonna assemble the valance here. Now I got these two pieces together here. Now I'm gonna put them together side by side, and I'm gonna use the edge of one of the uh, styrofoam boards to help me get a straight edge, and then I'm gonna tape them, tape them together. The board was only 30 inches, so I needed to do uh, an additional long piece to make it 39. So here you can see I'm using the edge of the styrofoam board to give me a straight, even uh, line right there. And before using the masking tape, I decided I'll just use some regular scotch tape first. Top, and then the bottom, and then the center I will do. Alright, I have it all taped up. So what I did was I used a, the, an extra piece to make a support bracket. So what I did is I just simply uh, used hot glue and glued it onto the, onto the valance there. And that'll give me extra support. makes it more sturdy. All right, these are the brackets which are gonna be hot glued to the edges and to the side. So there you can see it's hot glue. And it does stay on pretty well. Hot glue is like really some good stuff it's like crazy glue and then there are the corner brackets now these would be the support as you're also as you're working on the project also as it's as it's hanging on the wall as well all right it's time for the fabric this is the fabric that i chose i got this for like three dollars for a yard it was in a clearance bin at joanne fabrics and it is uh, i think it's a chenille or something but it is heavy fabric japery fabric so you use the hot glue, fold it over. It's kind of like wrapping a gift. There's no right or wrong on this. Just make sure the pattern is uh, is straight across or, or even on both sides. Otherwise you're gonna have a pattern that's diagonal when it's hanging, if you have stripes or whatnot. Also for those brackets, you want to, uh, like what I just did there, you want to cut uh, slits so that they can easily fold down and be hot glued. All right, time for the wall bracket now. Now this is what the uh, what's going to go fasten to the wall. So what you can do is just going to hot glue that down onto the uh, to the edge there. Now somewhat will hot glue it on the inside. I'm just gonna do it on the on top because you're not gonna see it anywhere in the place where it's going. So that you won't be able to do a side view. But there are a number of ways of doing this bracket. Um, 
you can just be creative but i'm actually going to just do this and this is the easiest way here i'm just going to glue it right on top again you won't be able to see the side because uh the the area it's going where i'm putting it you won't be able to see it so that was the easiest for, uh, thing for me to do all right here's my balance here it's looking good uh, all that's next is to add the Velcro. These are the Velcro fasteners, they're self-adhesive, just peel and stick. Now this is easy, I don't have to do any hard wall hardware, window hardware to hang this. So these are going to be stuck to the wall and then these are going to be stuck to the back of the, uh, the wall bracket for the valance. And the item is not that heavy so uh, it'll hang very well. Now what I did, if you, if you saw that, I cut the bottom out because you can't see the uh, the bottom when I hung it, so I just simply cut that little piece out. But here is a finished product. Hope you like it. I like it. It was cheap. It took less than two hours to make. I love it. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. And I'll see you next time on another Icon Design. Peace. Thank you.